A longtime radio station that serves people who have visual or other impairments was recently knocked off the air. But how it happened was a shock to some workers. And Meg Fair is joining us now to show us how it all went down. Meg, I was shocked to hear this one. Yeah. And Sharice and Katie, this is radio for the blind and handicapped. And they recently noticed that the signal was getting weaker and weaker. And then it was gone. Well, we have the picture from a football field and a half above ground to show you why. But fixing it is going to be a difficult problem. See you in six million years, said Officer Shrift. 24 hours a day, every day of the year. You know something, Doc? He said as he wound up the dog. Volunteers make sure the WRBH audience, that's radio for the blind and handicapped, has something to listen to. For the blind, shut-ins, and immobile, the station broadcasts reading of the newspaper, magazines, best-selling books, and interviews about food, writers, and support for their special needs. But recently, the signal went silent. It was the last Sunday of March, and the studio engineer called me and said, we're off the air. So they had an engineer climb the tower to investigate. And when he called me back and said, I have terrible news, my heart just sank. He discovered the problem 450 feet up. The transmission line has a bullet hole, taking the signal off the air completely. So just like after Hurricane Katrina, WRBH switched to a little cell tower on the station's Magazine Street property. But that barely covers Orleans Parish, whereas before, the content was reaching listeners for 90 miles in every direction from the Chalmette Tower. We were told this happens a lot, that people who love to shoot their guns, use transmission lines as targets. Neighbors say several blocks away, people have been shot and the sound of gunfire is increasing. More pops here and there late at night. When I come outside to put out the trash or sometimes even in the house, I'll notice I hear noises that sound like gunfire. And more bad news for the little nonprofit that since the 70s has survived on donations, grants, and volunteers. Initially, we were told worst case scenario is $100,000. My latest estimate from our tower climbing crew was $237,000. And we are only insured to $106,000 have to raise a lot of money. Now, you can still get the station's broadcast on its website through streaming. It's clear anywhere, but not everyone has computer access to do that. So if you'd like to help, you can donate at WRBH.org.